Hey guys, welcome to this video guys. So, I know it has been a long time since I have done career mode guys, but we're still going to try and bring you guys a couple of my Chivas careers. Um, I know this year I haven't been uploading that much, especially because uh, we're in the season of rumors and I've been doing a lot of those on the Spanish channel. But I also want to bring you guys career mode, which is one of my favorite things to do. And also, I've been playing a lot of a lot of um, Ultimate Team squad battles uh, most of the time. I don't know if you guys would like to see my squad battle games. I've been playing um, this week the last set of games I played on Ultimate. And uh, when this new competition started, I have played all games on Ultimate, and I did lost uh, just one set, and the other ones I won. So, been doing pretty good. But let's get into the career mode, guys. So we were actually facing. Uh, two classicals. Uh, first one is gonna be against America. So we are playing on legendary. It would be awesome if they added ultimate mode or the ultimate difficulty uh, to um, career mode. I think would be awesome. It would be more practice for me to actually do better on squad battles. Uh, but right here, guys, we get that first opportunity. Then look at this shot right here, guys. I think I need to look for right mids and left mids that could finish uh games or uh, opportunities to score right here guys uh, once again another opportunity but alan pulido is gonna miss that one guys so on the second half uh, i decided to do some changes just because players were gonna get tired and we actually had another game in two days which uh it happens in real life and also on fifa so with there some subs in so we could get some fitness on the other players guys right here guys uh, first sub in, which it was Pizarro, gives the ball to Cone Brizuela. And Cone Brizuela is just going to put that one in the back of the net on El Clasico. On the 50 minute, guys, scoring that first goal. Uh, Isaac Brizuela has amazing finishing, guys. Uh, sometimes I feel like starting a new career mode because there's going to be new transfers. Um, and when EA does the update, there's going to be a lot of new players on career mode. So I might actually start a new career mode. Don't know yet, but right here, guys, we were winning El Clasico by the minimum, which once was 1-0. So we walk out with three points, and I believe that's going to put us on the top of the table. Uh, there you guys see our players celebrating, guys. Um, and we are on the Windows transfer, guys. You guys can see here. We always had uh, Cisneros, Ronaldo Cisneros here on our watch list um, I think since the beginning and he's now a Chivas player so I decided to go ahead and actually uh, buy the player guys uh, just like how it happened in real life uh, with Chivas and I think we have pretty much very good strikers here um, and pretty good players actually to have two teams and play I wonder if EA um, if um, I hope we still have a Copa game or Copa um, you know cup a cup uh, um, tournament uh, because I know Libertadores was last year and I haven't even got that far where it, if there's still a uh, Copa game or Copa tournament must uh, must said uh, here on the career mode but uh, you know it would be interesting because Chivas is going to be playing the uh, CONCACAF uh, Champions League so it would be interesting if they have a Copa game uh, right here, guys, uh, let's get him back into this for Ronaldo Cisneros. I believe he asked for three years and we offered him four years. He ended up accepting. So uh, I think that was pretty good for him to accept four years. Um, I thought he was going to be a very, very low rated uh, player, but he's actually a 68 rated on FIFA. Right here, when I bought him, he is 68 rated. I don't know if that's that he, I don't know if he got upgraded on the career mode as he was playing for Santos or that's his main uh, rating. I would have to check on, you know, regular regular head-to-head uh, -head seasons to see what his rating. I don't know. Yeah, I think every Friday EA does the update. So I think Chivas could have the new transfers already on the game. I haven't really checked. But uh, a lot of people ask me to sign Chicharito, but he's not. He's not willing to move. Uh, the same with other big players like um, Coronita, which is another player that you guys ask for Jesus Corona. Uh, 
he doesn't want to move either from where he's playing. So our second game was going to be against Atlas, which is another uh, Clásico. Uh, so right here, guys, this is basically the Atletico uh, and Real Madrid Clásico. You could say it's kind of like them. They are from the same city and stuff like that, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead, guys, right here. I've been playing with this formation. Actually, this formation helped me on squad battles to defeat Ultimate. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the right mid and left mid. They actually help me a lot to defend. So what I do on the left mid and right mid, I put a comeback on defense. And that helps me a lot on ultimate. And usually I do the same on career mode. If I'm using something on ultimate team that's actually helping me, I do it too on career mode. Right here, guys, they get that opportunity. But our goalkeeper is doing pretty awesome there. Then right here, guys, uh, they get the opportunity and our goalkeeper once again saving us there. Uh, then we get this opportunity right here. Look, guys, this nice pass and what a goal. So that's going to be 1-0. We were going to go up and that was going to be Alan Pulido scoring that 1-0 goal. Um, a very nice goal, guys, I have to say. Uh, look at that play once again. That that passing is just amazing, guys. It's, I feel like on FIFA, uh, passing is pretty awesome this year. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but me, like how I play, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I have seen people complain about the gameplay, especially on Ultimate Team, but career mode is a different thing. Right here, guys, we get them in a counterattack. Uh, uh, you know, Marco Fabian couldn't finish that one. And then we get another opportunity by Fraga, the goalkeeper of Atlas, doing pretty awesome there. And actually saving Atlas from that goal. And then we had another opportunity, guys. And I need left mids and right mids to act they actually can finish because right there, we missed that great opportunities. Right here, guys, we did some simulation on training some players. Uh, young players, guys. Uh, right here, guys. A lot of people ask me also for Jurgen Dam, and they're too expensive to buy from them. They are asking for around 20 million for Montes and like 18 for uh, for um, Jurgen Dam. So that's too much. And then I saw a message or I got an email that uh, the Carlos Fierro has been moving to Europe. Uh, he has been bought by one team. So I decided I need a right mid. They could replace him. Uh, so I went with uh, Sepulveda. Uh, I was going to go with the Mexican. That's playing also at the uh, Netherlands League. But uh, he didn't want to move uh, back to Mexico. So what we decided to do is go for Sepulveda. Sepulveda. Sorry about that. I always mess up his name for some reason. Uh, a lot of people tell me I always mess up Sepulveda's name. So he's actually playing right mid right now in Morelia. So he could be also, he, he's like um, Carlos Fierro. He could play right mid and he could play striker. So that's actually going to be something that we really need. And he has pretty good finishing. So he's actually going to be able to play on the right side. And when he gets that right a wide open opportunity, he can just shoot across and score that goal for us. So uh, I think he's going to be a very nice sign. So we gave him an important role, which he accepted. And then he wanted a um, a uh, release cost of four uh, 4.1 million. And we ended up accepting. Uh, I don't think we will lose him. Uh, I don't think he will ever leave Chivas. He ends up leaving. Uh, we just uh, we just buy another player, probably a European player that really wants to come back after that. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, guys, like you guys could see, um, Alan Pulido was named Player of the Month uh, for, I believe, scoring on the two Clásicos. So uh, he scored against America and he scored against... No, against America was Brizuela, but I think he gave the assist. And then he scored against Atlas. So our final game, guys, of this career more was going to be against Monterrey. So we're going to play against Monterrey here, guys, in their stadium. So a very nice stadium. Of course, it's not the real, uh, the real one that they actually play in real life uh, because it's not on FIFA. But still a very nice 
a nice stadium here they have uh, right here guys they get this opportunity it goes wide uh, from our goalkeeper which is good news and then right here guys they get this right open opportunity with Hurtado he ends up missing guys then we get this opportunity that we're not gonna be missing and Marquito Fabian de la Mora managed to put that one in the back of the net so a very nice goal from from him and there we see guys Orbelin Pineda celebrating with him. Look at this pass guys. Look at that right open spot from Marquito Fabian to put it in the back of the net. Not a problem. A nice golazo from Marquito Fabian there for us guys. A very nice goal. So we are winning 1-0 guys. So right here we get another opportunity but it goes wide. Not a problem for Monterrey. Right here we, we were going to get him in a counter track. Uh, try to do a fake shot guys but the game does end right here guys and we actually uh, won our three games and that put us in first place six games played five wins one lost guys so i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode guys of the chivas career mode and i'll see you guys next time adios